More gold. Better chests. Trophy Road extension. Clan Wars 2 improvements. Fast Royale updates. Goblin Crate. Quality of life improvements. And a brand new card. Can it be? Yes, it is, Rick. It's time for... TV Royale. Welcome to the Clash Royale Summer Update. I'm Rick. And I'm Max. Let's not keep you waiting and jump straight into what's arriving in this update. We're extending the trophy road to 8,000 trophies. To complete the trophy road, two new additional arenas make their entrance, Roscoe's Hideout and Serenity Peak. New arenas also mean new rewards to collect. Leagues will now start at 5,000 trophies, and with it comes a new kind of season reset. If you're higher on the ladder, you'll lose fewer trophies at the start of a new season. Leagues will be more challenging to climb, but you should be seeing opponents who are more equally matched and reaching your new personal best will be more rewarding. We heard you, you need gold. Yeah, yes, please. As we told you just before, the trophy road is extending, which means... More, more gold? Exactly! With more arenas, the chests will hold larger rewards, as well as more victory gold and a new maximum amount in gold rush. But that's not it. Even more gold? Yes, with the brand new gold crates! Those will be available for players at King level 11 and beyond. To help players with Pass Royale, we'll reduce the number of crowns required for you to complete it. And for those of you who are already completing it super fast, we've increased the maximum amount of gold in the bonus bank. <laughs> That's a lot of gold. Yeah, the gold is overflowing. Clan Wars 2 now has a 24 hour system. What does that mean? Means that boats will now advance at the same time at the end of each battle day according to the accumulated medals. Medals? Yeah, we changed the name from Femme to Medals. Okay. So being the fastest to do your battles will not be an advantage anymore. That's awesome. And we've also introduced a new weekly system which consists of three training days and the rest for battle days. Yeah, so on training days you can earn gold by practicing with your ward decks. And on battle days you will also gain medals, which helps you move your clans towards victory, just like before. Another change is for boat defenses, which will now generate medals for your clan each battle day. What's happening? Is it a drill? No! But yes, we're introducing a brand new card with this update, the Goblin Drill. The Goblin Drill is a four elixir cost epic card that allows you to tunnel your way under the arena and unlock goblins on your opponent's side and attack his towers. You can unlock this brand new card in Arena 13 and also in challenges all season long. There's also some sweet quality of life improvements coming with the update starting with five more deck slots. The tower skin randomizer is finally coming and you can now have the possibility to select multiple tower skins that will rotate automatically. We've added a bunch of permanent game modes for friendly battles so you can now play them whenever you want with your friends and clanmates. Last but not least, it's now possible to go forwards and backwards in time in battle replays. Awesome. Yes, it is. Honestly, Max, I am super hyped for this update. And whilst you guys are here, make sure that you smash that subscribe button and leave us a comment below letting us know your thoughts. Yeah, and if you'd like to see more in-depth details on anything in this update, please check the in-game blog available now. And until then, see, see you in, in the, the arena. arena. More gold! <laughs> <laughs> wow! That's energy. That's it, that's it, that's the that's update. high energy. <laughs> that felt cool. good? Yeah. That was really good. Alright, cool. Alright, sweet. <laughs> sweet. Woo.